So a few weeks ago, I put out voting for my Patreon supporters on the next topic, and no one voted. So then I sent out another notification to all my Patreon supporters, and again, still no one's voted. But I got to start making videos soon, and a few of my viewers uh, voted for option number two in the comments section, and since none of the Patreon supporters voted, uh, I go, I'm going to go ahead and go with option two, which is uh, open source video editing. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at two different programs. Caden Live, which is a great video editor that I use for almost every one of my videos, and then also Blender, which main focus isn't video editing, but has all the basic video editing functionality that you need, and it's cross-platform and extremely stable. But this is an introduction to Caden Live. Caden Live, uh, let me get some things clear. I hear lots of times people saying Caden Live isn't any good, that it crashes all the time, it's unstable, and those people are somewhat right. Mm. I've been using Caden Live for like five years now, and I can tell you when I first started using it, I've been using it for everything for the last five years. I tried using it before that, and it was very unstable. And then all of a sudden it started working, and then it started crashing, and then it started working, and then something would crash. And what has happened over the years, at least with older versions, is it seems like they would have a really good release, and then the next release would be very bad and buggy and crash all the time. Uh, and I have found that a lot of Linux distributions, such as Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu, which share repositories for a lot of stuff, last I checked, um, they tend to have a pretty old version of Caden Live, which is unstable, which is probably why a lot of people think it was unstable. I use De Debian SID, which is fairly up to date. Uh, it's an unstable operating system. Uh, and what has happened over the years, although it's actually been pretty stable for me for quite a while now, I can't remember the last time I've had Caden Live crash on me, um, but I would say up until probably about a year ago, what was happening was, again, I'd upgrade my install of Caden Live through the repositories, and, and I either would get a good install, or it would crash. Usually when this something in particular was, you know, it's this one bug, whenever I do this it crashes, so it was obviously a bug related to that. And what I would normally do then is just go to the Caden, web, uh, uh, Caden Live website and download whatever their latest uh, binary was or compile from source. Uh, and actually, I'm not sure if I've ever actually compiled it from source, but I would get whatever the binaries they had there. Normally I would not suggest doing that. I always suggest uh, sticking with the repositories, but there are a few exceptions, and um, Caden Live is one of those ones that was just under development so much uh, that I would go to their website to get stuff sometimes because what I was getting from my rep repositories were crashing. So, but I've been using what's been inside the Debian repositories for the last year or so, and I haven't had any crashing problems. Uh, so, that being said, if you're going to use Caden Live and you're having problems with it crashing, it's quite possible just switching the version you're running will fix your problem. Uh, it's It's been under heavy, heavy development, so there's constantly changes. So don't give it a bad rap because you have a problem with one version crashing. Either downgrade to a previous version or make sure you have the newest version. And if you're using a distribution, again, I haven't checked in a while, but last time I checked, Ubuntu is running a very old version of Caden Live, which would be acceptable if it was a stable version, you know, but they were running a version that just crashed all the time. Luckily, Caden Live does have a recovery. If it does crash, when you restart it, it asks if you want to recover, and usually it's, it, it has everything up to maybe the very last change you made. Um, so that being said, uh, it definitely has room for improvement but I think it's a great program and as far as video editing I think it's the best uh, open source one on Linux that I've used. I've played around with other ones and and have had issues with them. Maybe there are tricks to getting them to work but um, as of right now Caden Live version 16 something I think I'm running. I could be wrong on that. We'll check when we start the tutorials. Um, but I just want to get that off, get that going. If you're going to go use Caden Live and it's crashing Check if you have the newest. If not, get the newest version. If you have the newest version, try downgrading to the previous version. Because it really seemed like that. Like they'd have a really 
it wasn't labeled stable release, but they would have a very stable release. It'd be working great for three or four months, and then I upgrade it, and all of a sudden, every time I went to add a transition, it would crash. And then I would downgrade to the previous version. And then next time, you know, a few months later, I would check, there'd be a new version, I'd upgrade, and it worked fine. And then a few months later, they'd upgrade again, and now every time I try to add a, a, a layer effect, it would crash, or something along those lines. Uh, so... That's what I've got to say about Kane Live. I am not here to say that it is uh, the best program in the world, but I'm saying that it does work. It is stable if you get the right version, and it does everything you need for basic video editing uh, and very basic special effects. If you want to get into more like deep special effects, Blender is probably more the way you want to go, and we're not going to get into that too much because we're going to be looking at just basic video editing. 99% of what you're doing, you know, color corrections, trimming stuff down, fades, audio stuff, layering effects, that sort of thing. So, now that I've said that, let's go ahead and check out the first tutorial. So go ahead, hopefully I remember to put an annotation somewhere here. Hopefully, now I don't forget, together, sometimes you know, I do, and, I don't have to worry about and uh, you know, same. check that out. That's our first video, program. and we're just going to go over the yeah, basics yeah, of the interface, yeah. and, and just oh, be sure to watch this, this entire same. playlist. It'll be a new video each week, and then we'll also be looking at here. Blender, uh, basically them again. Yeah. When we're done with this, you should be able to create your own um, movie or home movie at so home with ease. Split so, audio. thanks so for watching. I right -click and, I click split audio. and I hope so you have a great day. Check out this link. Check out my website, filmswebchris.com. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.